Hey guys, it's John, and today we are playing three random horror games. This one is called The Lunatic. Actually, it's a demo for an upcoming horror game called The Lunatic. It's free, it's on Itch.io, there's a download link in the description, and it's got a quirky logo, so... That's three wins right Where there. Am I? What am I doing here? I don't know, it looks like we're in a padded cell. As for what you're doing here, I'd assume that you belong in here, if you get what I'm saying. Okay. Did somebody just toss a knife at me? Are you serious? Was it you? Did you do that? How are you in two places at once? And why are you giggling at me? What's Daisy. so funny? Daisy. <laughs> Okay. Apparently her name is Daisy. There she is. There she is again. She says to go this way. Do you want me to find something for you? She's pointing to the toilet. I guess she needs something there. This voice actor sounds kind of like Grant George. Some of you may know who I'm talking about. Hello? Here? That's kind of gross, isn't it? Why, why, what, is this your idea of a prank? Get me to <laughs> flush the toilet and have piss go in my face? Well, it doesn't flush anymore. Oh my God. I'm soaked. This is so disgusting. What are you making me do? Is it this one? Daisy, if this is your idea of something funny. Oh, wait, what's that? I just picked up something. Nine years old girl found dead in Torrance Asylum, and there's no picture. Hmm. Torrance Asylum mortuary worker. That'll be a lot easier to read. Paul Andrews' daughter Daisy was found dead this morning. Her body was found next to the toilet in the restroom and basement, too. The police officer said somebody was holding her head in the toilet and drowned her to death. Wow. The suspects were some kids living in the Torrance Asylum. Oh, there were... Ah, <laughs> oh, great. Another horror game that takes place in an asylum. That hasn't been done to death. A nurse was trying to stop the kids, but it was too late. A six-year-old kid, Tom, said to the police, Jason, the ten-year-old kid, caught Daisy's teddy bear and threw it into the toilet. Daisy fought back. But Jason pushed her and held her head up to the toilet. She struggled and did not move anymore. Okay. The teddy bear Tom mentioned is missing. The case is under the investigation. What's to investigate? They just admitted that they drowned her. What's what's left to investigate? They gotta find the teddy bear and like, oh. It appears it did have toilet water on it at some point. Hi. Who are you? Where did you get this? I think Daisy wants you to have it. You see her? You really see her? Where is she? Can you tell her I miss her so much? She loves you. She wants you to have this. She can rest in peace now. Thank you so much. Daisy, Daddy loves you. What can I do for you? Do you know the way out? The gate is locked by May. Only she can open it. But you know her. She's not that easy. She's in the second special ward. You need to get a key in there. I think there is a key in one of the freezers. You need to click the right code on the panel to open it. You can find the code in this room. Hurry! Oh yeah, we, we know May. Yeah, she won't let us in there easily. Classic May. Okay, so this is... I need to put the code in. Got it. Uh, okay, it's gotta be. It's gotta be this. So there's two purple scissors. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven yellow knives, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine red bottle caps. So some sort of combination of two, seven, nine. But in what order do I put them in? Oh, 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 here we go. There's some, mis there's some missing data in this sheet. Maybe I should count them in this room. Okay, yeah. 
So, uh, seven, two, nine, right? So that's the order, seven, two, nine, okay. I got it, easy. Ooh, feels so good to get it right. A green key. I actually kind of like the strong colors in this game a bit. So what? What now? I got a green key. Does that mean I can, what, op open up another one of these or I can get, oh, the door's open. It just, it didn't open earlier. But now it has. Let's open this. The green key opens the red padlock. Hi there. <laughs> These ghosts, they just love to prank me. So in here, right? I think she has to stay in the dark. What's this? Oh. Okay. Do we vanquish her? Wait. We've trapped her in the middle room. He can't leave now. Tell Hi. me how I can get out of here. Did we just stab the ghost? I know that was possible. Uh, it opened up a door. So she didn't tell me shit. Okay. Am I supposed to be running? Oh. That's the end of the demo! No, 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 that's not how you end a demo! I know it's just a demo, but that's not how you end a demo! That's not- you- you don't just abruptly cut it off in the middle of the sequence, come on! At least, like, have us fall to the ground and then... That high-pitched sound plays that shows you're disoriented and then... You, you you struggle to your feet and then we get a jump scare or something. That'd be fine. I'd even take that. And that's a mediocre ending. Not just while we're climbing the stairs. Uh, okay, whatever. We got we got a couple other games to play. All right. Before we move on to the next game, I'm gonna pump the brakes and talk about what I think about this demo real quick. Beyond just the ending, not being very satisfactory. I think the 2D sprites are pretty cool. I like the strong colors in the game. I think that that's a fairly unique aesthetic to have. I don't like the story. I don't like that it takes place in an asylum. It seems to me like just another game that's going to stereotype and vilify the mentally ill with nothing new uh, to provide in that respect. And there's not really anything special about the gameplay. So all in all, get some meh from me, but I do like some of the visual style. So I'll say that about it. All right, next game. Welcome to our second game of the video, Dark Case, The Basement. This is a horror game on Steam. It's a dollar, maybe two dollars, I can't remember, but it's not free. And I just wanted to check it out. So let's go ahead and start a new game. Dark Case number 258. I was hired to investigate a new dark case. Because we all know what that means. An old couple contacted me. They recently bought a house which they believe is haunted by a little girl. That sounds like a bad idea. After some research, I found that in 1979, a 10-year-old girl called Denise was murdered in the house by a man that broke into her home while everyone was sleeping. Great, another game about a little ghost girl. Giant wall of text, let's go. According to the police report, the man was a wanted thief with a huge criminal record. He broke into the house without making any noise, but for some reason, Denise woke up, because of course she did and went into the kitchen where the thief was. She started screaming as soon as she saw him, which made him very upset, because as we all know, he doesn't like loud noises. He tried to silence her, but she kept screaming. Her parents woke up with the noise, they rushed downstairs and saw a blood trail going down to the basement. Edgy. The father grabbed a knife quickly and went down to the basement where he saw a huge man dragging his little girl. He attacked the thief with the knife and got into an intense fight, they both were badly injured. Wow, what an action-packed prologue this is. Wow, the thief was able to run away, but he was killed by the police at his apartment later that night. 
So what, they just walked in and gunned him down? No trial or anything? Don't put him under arrest? How do they know they got the right guy? <laughs> I mean, I'm assuming they came in and he fought back. I don't think the developer really thought that far ahead, actually. Paramedics were able to save the father, but unfortunately it was too late for Denise. She had many broken bones, including her neck. <laughs> what? Wait, wait. So she died from broken bones? It was too much trauma for her body. All right. The parents were never able to recover from this tragedy, so they moved away and sold the place. It has been many years since the incident, but there is a big chance that Denise's soul is still wandering around the house looking for a way out. Or she could be looking for revenge. Have I ever told you guys about my pet peeve with vengeful spirit stories? Because they always end up seeking revenge on people that had nothing to do with their death. And I guess that's the case here, right? Or should I say, the dark case. What is this? Oh no, it's like a survive the night thing. Oh no. I didn't know this. Okay, so there's like a battery component. Okay, so we got resource management. But in order to save the resource, the light uses it up. We gotta flip the battery? I'm not sure I understand. Oh, there she is. I don't know what that means, though. What? Where is she? So we got stairs leading down. We got a room in there. And we got a door to the side. Oh no, the light's off. I have no idea what happened there. I'm trying to click on the X to get rid of the tutorial HUD, but it's just, it's still there. So, oh, you can turn on the lights in, oh, in the rooms with the cameras. Except this one, this one doesn't have a light. What's annoying about this, got her. What's annoying about this is that it doesn't tell me, it doesn't tell me where those rooms are in regards to the house layout. What is happening in this game? <laughs> what, can I continue? No, I'd start a new game every time. Why is there a continue? Are there checkpoints? Wow. Why is there an X if it doesn't get rid of the HUD? Okay, so where is this? I can't tell where this is. Is this like upstairs? Cause there's, we know that there's stairs, right? There's no stairs in the shot though. Here, there's a closed door right there. That looks like it's upstairs as well. So we're in the basement right now. That also looks like it's upstairs. That looks like it's in the basement. I can't tell like... Got her. So we're supposed to get her on the cameras, right? So I'm guessing if she's on four, we have to close the door. Get the power back. Oh, okay, so that's the deal. I kinda get that. Like, I kinda understand how it works. So like, when this happens, you gotta flip the battery until the power comes back. Otherwise, she kills you. Is somebody there? No. I don't see anybody. There. Man, I don't know. Look at look at us. You can see our model and the reflection of Denise's eyes, and we just look like a mannequin. Okay. You know, 
I think I think I'm good on this one. The problem with Dark Case the Basement, as is the common problem with many bad Survive the Night games, is that this is a genre that wholly relies on solid mechanics and gameplay. If the gameplay is not there, the game is not up to snuff, and this is not up to snuff. It's not clear how things work, and I have a rough understanding of what to do, but there don't appear to be any audio cues, which is a problem. Everything seems to be visual cue reliant, and I just don't think it's very good. I mean, I'll defend a game like the first Five Nights at Freddy's until the day I die, because I think it had a perfect combination of um, properly balanced mechanics and atmosphere, and a lot of the clones that have come out since have only looked at the surface level at why Five Nights at Freddy's was a successful game, and this appears to be one of them. It's not about the jump scares, it's about how everything works and fits together, and this does not have several pieces of the puzzle necessary to make a cohesive vision. So, Dark Case the Basement, not good. Let's move on to the next one. Our third and final game of the video is the demo for an upcoming game called Writer's Block. It's a pixelated point and click game. It's free, it's on itch.io, and I don't know much about it other than that. Look, we can pretend that the reticle is his eye. Isn't that cool? I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel like I say the same thing introducing every game, so I tried to make it a little different. As I enter the lobby of the standard occasion. Sounds a lot like that Bible verse, Psalm 23. As I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I take a look at my life and realize there's nothing left. Everyone knows that one. The smell of hickory and ginger waft over me. It is a small room, likely a living room, before... before it... Hmm before it got changed, but it still retains its fisherman roots. No, no, that's not it. That book is distracting me. Well, yeah, it's glinting an awful lot. Let's pick it up with our red hand. Twinkle by Ray Gibson. What's going on in this cover? Twinkle, what a terrible title, Ray. At least he signed it to me. I suppose I owe him a chapter. To my bestest friend, thanks for coming. I can't imagine a published author using the word bestest, but all right. Chapter one, the screeching squeal of metal on metal screams in my ears. That's a hell of an introduction. As I forkfully pry open the cold gray spaceship wall. Apparently they didn't have a proofreader. That was every agonizing cliche crammed into two pages. Yet this sci-fi garbage is a bestseller. His audience must be the most asinine common masses of, of... No, I need to put this away and focus on my writing. Nothing else. Actually, that gives me an idea. Once inside, I can hear the call of the ocean. Hey, here we are. The innkeeper, Mrs. Gladys, is not present. I need to find a way to get her attention. Oh, look at this. This looks great. I love the pixelated art style. I know some of you kids seven and under don't understand it, but that's okay. A cozy little seat by the window. And you kids can just get ready for Anthem. Play that 24 hours a day. I can't leave yet. I just got here. Okay, well I wasn't recommending that you leave. A well-crafted helm made from redwood. Cool. Winner of the 1995 fishing contest for largest bass. It's 11.13 a.m. I wonder if time passes. Wouldn't that be cool? A novelty lamp caught between kitsch and avant-garde. Only the ashes remain. Well, I would hope so. I would hope that's not still burning. That could be a problem. A stack of maple firewood. And it's still 11.13 a.m. I don't think the time is changing. I wonder where they found that. It's a little deep sea diving helmet. It's mostly classical literature. Some Hemingway, Oscar Wilde, and Mark Twain books. Okay. A faux cherry blossom branch and sea glass vases. 
That must be Mr. Gladys. Oh, does he have his sweater tied around his neck? Oh, barf. It appears three rooms are already occupied. A porcelain clam shell. See, this is what I like. I like the little tool tips, the little descriptions for everything. Empty. It's not like you walk around and it's like, picture, vase, books. Some games do that. Pictures of the local sceneries. Postcards from all around the states. The plant is surprisingly not plastic, apparently. Hey, there's Mrs. Gladys. I shouldn't rudely go further unannounced. Okay. Well, let's uh, announce ourselves. Oh my god! Who are you? I'm here for the 11.30 check-in. Oh, thank goodness. You scared me half to death, dearie. Sorry, ma'am. It's all right, as long as you don't do it again. There is a service bell on the front desk. Please use it next time. My phone is vibrating. Escape. Oh. Ray? Hey man, you're missing out on the after party. One of the fans brought me here to her restaurant. And let me tell you, the food is out of this world. Who would have guessed that a Michelin star chef is a Twinkle fan? Hey man, are you still there? Hello? How? How can anyone be his fan? How can anyone enjoy this crap? I should flush it down the toilet where it belongs. Wait, are you telling me to do that? I can't focus right now. I deserve that fame. I worked hard for it. He just gets it handed to him. Oh no, jealousy. Green is the ugliest color that I've ever seen, my friend. I need to calm down first. Oh, so you want to flush the book down the toilet? That's a good way to get your entire apartment complex flooded. There's not enough left to get drunk. Oh, so you've had six beers? I'd say you're already there, buddy. Is that a radio? Huh. I bet he's having the time of his life drinking champagne and eating caviar. Caviar is misspelled. Too upset to sleep right now. Wow, you're really bothered by this, aren't you? 9.38 p.m. Can I turn this off? Thanks. That was really kind of bothering me. Oh, got a reflection. Who needs talent when you have luck? Right, Ray? Don't be jealous of your friend's success. Be happy for him. Bleach. It's not safe for consumption. A bottle of hydrogen peroxide. Why is this on the ground? I should take out the trash. Eventually. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and flush the book. I want to tear this book apart and stuff it down the drain. Well, I'll take a shower later. I shouldn't be doing this. I shouldn't be blaming him. This has been our dream since we were kids. All your childhood friends. He's my best friend and I should be supporting him. I should be, but I can't. His plot is derivative. His characters are flat. He's a joke among critics. He doesn't deserve any of this. Maybe I should have written science fiction. What's happening here? No reflection. Oh, wait. What? Shipping containers holding the passenger's baggage. Where am I? Extraterrestrial life form detected. Executing protocol seven. I thought this is a human vessel. What? Oh, this is his sci-fi novel that he has in his head. The zillions in humans share many similarities from appearances to cultures and daily functions. However, there are two key distinctions. The zillions are more technologically advanced and they have a much slower respiratory rate. Is that it? Oh, yes, I did not know that I was the camera. Oh, no, this is just him talking to himself. Whatever. That's rather unimaginative, Ray. Trust me. Oh, this is Ray that he's talking to. I should have known from the green text. Trust me, simplicity sells. Right, I'll play along. That's the spirit. Now, to be a Xylian, I'm going to change the pronunciation because that sounds better. You must hold your breath. Oh, and move slowly. Hold right mouse. Uh, 
Okay. That's interesting. Let's not touch the exposed wire. Yeah, let's not. More baggage, I assume. Okay. Protocol protocol 7 lockdown. Administrative passcode required. Uh, but I don't know what it is. So, I mean... Can I call? Quit? Oh, no! No, 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 no! No, I, I didn't mean to quit! Shit! Read above my Icarus. Read below my Pirithus. It's a cassette. Oh, read above. Oh, not read. Wow, sorry. There's a number on the back, 1992. Hmm. I'll keep it with me for now. Yes, we shall, shan't we? Let's go ahead and put it in here. 1992. Oh, there's different places we can go. Let's go to the laboratory. Quarantine. What the hell are they doing? The biolabs ahead and the exits above. Great. I can use that to unlock the door. Scanning, iris unrecognized. Yup, impossible. Okay, so we need to find a, we need to find a uh, eyeball somewhere. Let's go to the crew quarter, inaccessible, cargo bay. Is that where we were? That's where we were before. Let's go to the lobby. Trash. In a trash can, what? <laughs> what a half-assed attempt. At what? Where is everyone? Either the ship's been in disarray for months, or those vines been growing fast. Amusing, it still works. I could use a drink. Game saved. Oh, cool. The poster looks irritatingly familiar. Let's keep going. Oh, what's all this? It's off. It's not often you get to look at life from a distance. It's a whole new perspective. I spotted something. What is it? Get it. I thought I saw something. Maybe if I remove some of this dirt. Remove some of the dirt. Am I, re am I successfully removing the dirt by doing this? What I get? I rather not find what else is buried. Oh no, what I what I get? Item. Huh? Did I find an eyeball? Must be nice to sit here and see the stars every day. Yeah, sure. Oh. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. I how I wonder what are. <laughs> here in hell, I'll gladly stay. Oh no. Ooh, it won't let me move off. They don't even realize I'm here. I think one of them might. They all have their eyes removed. Just to see you every day. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Ah! What? This can't be happening. This is a nightmare. We're friends, right? That means I got your back and you got mine. Jesus. So did I just change, uh, worlds? Oh, there's some eyeballs. That's a theme. I like the silhouette here. Let's save that game. Let's go uh, to the laboratory. Did I get an eyeball? Security breach. Passcode randomized. Manual override required. Maybe the information on this cassette can help. Something about red. Um, these lights are signifying something. I should change the numbers. Red above my Icarus, red below my Pirithus. I don't know. I just kind of messed around with it until it worked. I know it's kind of dark here. I'll try to up the gamma when I'm editing the video. The vines, they're feeding off of her corpse. 
Yeah, hello. So we're just going to skip past that, huh? Computer here. Several computers. What is that? What is this? A screwdriver? No, this isn't right. Why am I thinking like this? I need to stop thinking like this. This is your fault. No, 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 shut up. This is your fault. These thoughts won't go away. I can't stop feeding them. They're killing everything. Just go away. This is your fault. No, this is your fault, Ray. This is <clears throat> fault. You don't deserve success. You didn't struggle. You didn't endure. You got lucky. You're a joke. Don't you get that? <laughs> and what about you, my so-called friend? You think you're better than me. But in truth, you wish you me. Go to hell. You want the world to revolve around you, but you're just a petty wannabe writer whose vanity surpasses his talent. Admit it. This is your fault. Ugh. Your pride. Your arrogance. Hello? What? This is in the game. This is, this is, okay. Whew, that tricked me for a second. Yeah, here we go. What happened? It's black. I think the game crashed. What do I do? Turn the computer on and off. It's not working. The button is stuck. It's not pushing it. Your game broke the computer. No, it didn't. Yes, it did. No, it didn't. Yes, it did. My mom's gonna be mad at you. She's gonna be mad at you too. What do we do then? Hmm. I know. My dad showed me how to open a stuck paint can before. I can push the button out like a lid, but I need a screwdriver. My dad keeps his toolbox somewhere in the kitchen. Let's go get it! Onward to the kitchen! Huh. Okay. My dad took us out to a fancy Italian restaurant for my birthday. Olive Garden? <laughs> a fancy Italian restaurant? Hmm. Right. Screwdriver? I should wash the dishes eventually. I didn't like the spiciness of the chili though. Just some more plates inside. There's not much food in the fridge. Where's the uh, screwdriver? Mom's leftover chili. Me and Ray give it five stars. Ray and I give it five stars. My mom's making casserole tonight. I like casserole. Shut up, Ray. Let's not wake the cranky kraken. Yeah, your sister's mean. I don't need to use the bathroom right now. Well, wait, where's the... The ovens sometimes break or make clicking noises. So wait, where's the... How do babies say hello? They microwave. Shut up, Ray. Sorry, where's the screwdriver? You said it was in the kitchen. But I don't see it anywhere. The chili was really good. Can I have second? Can you shut up about the damn chili? Is that made of paper? Maybe. I remember being on top of that cliff. It was scary. How are you gonna get up there? Do we take the chair? I like those chairs, they're soft. We can't eat yet until the computer's fixed. I mean, do we grab something from in here? Yeah, maybe we need like a step stool or something. There's nothing to do outside. Oh. I know what you mean. It's locked. Mom's drawing supplies. She hasn't painted for a while. Hmm. Dad's old music stuffs. He likes to listen to Prince. July 21st, 1992. 
the date of the cassette. None of these buttons are working because it's not on. Sometimes I spin around on it until I throw up. Then I don't have to go to school. Oh, that's about the, that's about the chair. Okay, let's look for that freaking screwdriver. It's too high. I need something to climb up there. Okay, so now it's glinting. Or maybe it was glinting before, I don't know. Can you take the chair? I can't push them, they're too heavy. Let's find something with wheels. Okay, you mean like the computer chair? All aboard, choo-choo. <laughs> you dorky kids. Uh, staying on a computer chair on hard floor in the kitchen doesn't sound like a great idea. I'll hold it so you can go up and down. Okay, well, we need to get this, buddy. Yeah, well, can you move it over here, Ray? I need to. I need it moved over there, Brainiac. Come on. Oh, Phew. almost stepped on the tomatoes. Oh, okay. Too high. Get on the microwave. Too high. Get on the fridge. I got it. Finally. Okay, let's get down. This is a weird way to get up. Aww. Oh, did I step on the tomatoes? Come on, let's head back to the computer. Well, yeah, okay, let's go. I was gonna try to take the chair back with us, but whatever. Okay, let's do this. Is it working? Is it working now? How about now? Almost there. Yes! Hooray! Thanks, Ray. No problem. That's what friends are for. I got your back, and you got mine. I remember that day. It's funny how Mom found out because of the squished tomatoes. Ray and I were terrible liars, and we got yelled at for it. <laughs> I almost forgot about that thing. It's been staring at me, but it hasn't moved. Is it frozen? No. It's dormant. Now is my chance to escape. I can finally get out of this nightmare, but I need to remain calm. Breathe in, breathe out. Slowly. Uh. Oh, I tried to hold my breath. God damn it, Ray. Screw you. Screw your book. And good riddance. I hope the rats get more satisfaction consuming your garbage. I guess I should have held my breath from the beginning. I just thought I had a little bit of free reign. It's late. I need to sleep. Hmm. End of Sunday. Monday. Coming soon. Escape the monster for bonus contents. What? Ah! Phew! Just let it go. Calm down. Okay. God damn it, Ray. I know it's not your fault, but I wanted to believe it is. I wanted it for so long. Because if, if it's not your fault, then it's my fault, and that's... That's a shitty thing to feel. I'm not gonna flush your book. Instead, I'll show you and everybody else. My book's a bestseller, too. You'll see. So I need to sleep. Okay. End of Sunday. Wait, what? What's going on? Something feels off about that chair. Working progress coming soon. So work in progress is what you mean. This is cool though. 
I see, so this is work in progress chapter two. Neato. I like this. Okay. Well, oh my god, there's more doors. It's locked. It's locked. There's more. Are these all like chapters? Oh my god, they get bloodier and bloodier. What the hell? Something in its mouth. Is it a key? It's a key. I don't want to know what else is inside that thing. No, the doors are, or the lights are off. The end. Thanks for playing. Huh. Okay, well, that's the end of the writer's block demo. Far and away the best game I've played in this video. I almost wish I had made it its own video, but... Uh, what are you gonna do? It's always it's it's also good to have some good surprises in three random games videos. Uh, you know that's part of the reason why why we do it. So yeah, I uh, obviously I'm a little biased. I like the pixelated art style, and I like you know the side scrolling, story driven kind of gameplay and feel. So I like that. But yeah, I think this is not bad at all. I I enjoyed it. I do think that for a game about authorship and being a writer, maybe it would be best if there were no misspellings or grammar mistakes. But, uh, you know, just get a proofreader for that. And th once that's shored up, cool. I'm not sure I quite understand the story. I do, to a certain extent. I wonder if I wonder if like he's Ray and Ray is like a pseudonym like or it's like for his invisible friend when he was a child that'd be kind of interesting to see it from that angle very psychological horror in that respect but yeah writer's block demo looking forward to the full game I think um don't really have any other thoughts besides that I mean the game looks great I like the puzzles and the atmosphere and everything. Pretty cool. Let me know what you guys thought about Writer's Block, as well as mm, Dark Case of the Basement and uh, The Lunatic. I almost forgot what we played at the beginning of the video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Think critically.